All right, so I thought about making like a really elaborate video um, and having my wife like film it and having slow-mo parts with quotes, um, but that's not really what people with anxiety really wanna see or hear. Um, I'm just here to tell you a little bit about what I go through and maybe some of you go through. Um, <clears throat> basically, um, when I was 20, I woke up one morning and I was feeling really nauseated and wasn't super nervous, but could have been the flu, could have been anything, and for some odd reason, I couldn't let it go. And I have a family history of severe anxiety. Um, so I never really put two and two together at that point because I was like, I'm 20 years old, like there's no way that it's anxiety. And uh, my wife had just moved here at the time. We weren't married. Um, we were still trying to figure things out. So there was things going on in my life that maybe were attributing to that. Or maybe it was just as simple as being the flu. I, I don't know for sure. But um, that led to headaches that you know, I couldn't see straight, I couldn't see very well. Um, it led to, you know, um, headaches so bad that I couldn't hold my head up and vomiting all day and crying and doctor visits and a colonoscopy and endoscopy, um, a brain scan, a CT scan, um, a pulmonary function test um, and so many other evasive tests and I had stomach pain that wouldn't go away for almost an entire year and tried a plethora of anxiety medicines that weren't working and finally landed on one because sometimes uh, you do have a chemical imbalance um, in your brain and that's why you react the way you do and um, so that was in 2014 and um, I realized during that period that I had OCD pretty bad too. Um, and some people think of OCD as being like people that freak out about germs and have a clean house and want everything in order. And that's not really what my OCD is. Um, my OCD is more of like obsessing about dying all day long, obsessing about being sick all day long. Like if I had a cough, I immediately am on WebMD for hours, um, getting myself worked up, crying, uh, taking myself to the ER, um, having to get a shot so that I can calm down. Um, lots and lots of crying. Um, you know, as a, as a 27 year old male, it's a very emasculating, very embarrassing thing to, to have that happen. Um, and you just can't let it go. Even when there's things that you're worried about, they're not even happening, but you're worried that they're gonna come back and happen and that you're gonna die and that everything's cancer and everything is uh, death, a death sentence. And um, it's just not the case, you know? So at least for, at least for me so far. So 2014, went through a hard time, made it out of it. Um, flash forward to now, to 2021, I recently had another humongous mental breakdown. Um, this was probably one of the worst ones. It all started with my ear. Um, I have really bad, what I think is eustachian tube dysfunction, where like my ear will pop all the time when I talk and, and things like that. But it started at night, like it would just pop constantly, just pop, 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 and it wouldn't stop. Um, I saw an ear, nose, and throat, had a hearing test, perfect hearing, had a, um, a bear test done that tests your nerves in your ear to your brain, perfectly fine. I had another CAT scan done, that came back normal, and uh, I had two ER visits during that time because I panicked so bad, um, would cry so much. Um, I actually had to stay at my in-laws house because my wife couldn't handle me and our son at the same time, um, which was very uh, hard on me and depressing on me um, because I'm, I'm the dad, you know, I'm supposed to be the tough one. 
and uh, I couldn't handle my own life. I would just lay in bed and cry and cry and uh, my mom would have to come over to my house and walk around the block with me or take me for drives. And then there would be thoughts of like, I don't want to be here anymore. And and like, I would never, I would never do that. But just to have that, like, you're so miserable that you don't want to even be here. And I have a great life. And that's what's scary to me um, <clears throat> because I have a, a beautiful family. Um, a great house, um, all this stuff. Like, I have a first appearance of Iron Man, and I have to have like a security system in my house to like make sure none of my stuff gets taken. But like, I have all these things that like most people don't have, and 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 somehow I'm taking it for granted because like none of it makes me happy. Like, money doesn't make me happy. Um, popularity never made me happy like it doesn't fulfill me but like the thing that was depressing was I have a beautiful son I have a beautiful wife and I'm taking him for granted and I'm freaking out and I'm thinking I'm gonna die and leave them and I cried all the time um, just recently uh, this 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 was just recently this was happening and I would call my parents and, and, and beg them to take care of Kellen for me because I thought something was gonna happen to me where I wasn't gonna be here anymore. That's, I 100% believe that. And um, still not knowing exactly what's wrong with something in my body will drive me crazy. Um, it, it, it will control my whole day. Um, I actually had to deactivate Safari off my phone so I wouldn't look up things because it was that bad. Um, thankfully, my wife is an amazing human being. She was raised very well and can handle people like me. Um, she's a beautiful, beautiful woman and uh, I'm lucky to have her in my life. But um, without a strong support system, it's very, very hard to get through all this. And that's why I wanted to make a video to, to maybe relate to some of you. I know <clears throat> the most important thing to know, the thing to know about anxiety is everybody is affected differently. Some people have heart palpitations. Um, <clears throat> some people get sick. Um, some people just worry a lot. Um, there's so many different physical things that, that can go wrong um that feel very real and it's hard to decipher whether or not those things are real or not and that was one of the things i had to figure out for myself um but yeah i didn't want to make some flashy video and uh and make it seem like this whole thing you know but i did want to relate to some of you and i hope that this does and i hope that like it brings an awareness to mental health because like I love drawing and I love spending time with my family but in the blink of an eye I could lose all of it up here just because of this and I haven't drawn for months like I've only recently drawn a couple things and drawing something I love spending time with my family is something I love and and anxiety and OCD stripped that from me and it's very very uh, upsetting but I'm working through it um, I'm glad that I have some of you to talk to that message me and um, are so supportive. So thank you. Um, I hope this video finds you well. If you guys ever need to talk, you are more than welcome to message me. It might take me a little while to message back, but I always try to uh, um, reach back out. So um, thank you so much for listening and uh, please leave a comment. Because I would love to chat with you about anxiety and OCD and, and bring awareness to that because I don't think um, I think we're doing better as a generation about bringing up anxiety and OCD but I still think it's a very under the rug thing um, so yeah if you struggle feel free to leave a comment maybe somebody will read your comment and can relate to you I know that I get a lot of people um, that ask me about certain things to see if they can relate to my situation. So maybe uh, through this video we can help each other. So leave a comment um, or don't. Um, but I hope this uh, this made sense and, and brought a little bit of awareness to you. 
and uh, thank you so much for always supporting me and being so rad. I, I can't I can't begin to thank you enough. So take care.